Although we're just days away from watching Netflix's new live-action adaptation for Avatar The Last Airbender, the official premiere for this series was already made this past February 15th in California. At this premiere, they showed the first two episodes of this highly anticipated upcoming series. What were the reactions towards these first two episodes that were shown? Should we be having high hopes towards this series? In this video, we will be discussing just that as we take a look at some of the first reactions of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender. The first review comes from 7th Art Studio, who is a Spanish-speaking Rotten Tomatoes, approved critic, and had this to say about the series. I just watched the first live-action episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. Here are my first reactions. The action sequences are impressive. The translation of the elements to live action is the most evident and attractive in this first episode, as they cause an emotion that activates one's nostalgia. The visual effects were sometimes good, sometimes not so good. What I saw still says, work in progress, but it will probably be released next week. And there are several visually bizarre moments. The cast doesn't convince me on the first pass, but I'm convinced I need to give them the full season to have a correct opinion. The story is fairly faithful to the original material. Let's see if it stays that way. And then he goes on to say that he will give a full review once the series premieres on February 22nd. The next review comes from Raiden Scarnato, who said, As a huge Avatar The Last Airbender fan, I was satisfied with the first two episodes of the Avatar Netflix series. I'm cool with the changes and thought the bending was well done. Some of the acting was a little stiff, and I wish it was more cinematic, but it's a solid start. Scene Ballman, a film critic for Disappointment Media, mentioned it that, as someone who grew up watching the animated show, he thought episode one of Avatar The Last Airbender was a solid start. It's a lot of exposition, but Gordon Comier is great, and the visuals are quite good. Certainly much better than the last live-action version of this property. So far, we see that Albert Kim wasn't lying when he said that Netflix's version of Avatar The Last Airbender was going to be as faithful as it could be to the original series, although it did go through some changes, as some of the first reactions that we've seen have pointed out that they were satisfied and that it had that nostalgia trigger, which is something that hardcore fans were worried about. But does everyone agree on these opinions? Let's continue so we can find out. Rafael Motamayor, writer for IGN, IndieWire slash Film, Inverse.com, Vulture and the New York Times, mentioned that he was finally allowed to say that the first episode of Avatar The Last Airbender is a huge letdown. He explained that, sure, the bending looks great and generally the visuals are solid, but that it's a mixed bag of an adaptation, too much exposition, poor writing, and horrible pacing. Dallas Liu rules, though. Caden Reed, writer for The Streamer, said, I really enjoyed the first episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm getting a better understanding of why they made certain changes. I definitely can see how some may not like it as much. Some of the bending's visuals are slightly off. I hope to enjoy the rest of Avatar Netflix. Rama's Screen, MPA-accredited entertainment journalist, film and TV critic, mentioned that Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender Episode 1 was spectacular. This live-action version has done the old animated show, of which he was a fan of, incredible justice. He also added that the cast were terrific, the visuals were remarkable, and Gordon Cormier, who plays Aang, is a revelation. We continue things off with Mike Thomas, resource editor for Collider, who said, The first episode of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender is fantastic. From the opening scene, you realize that this is far better than the 2010 film. The fights are great, but the standouts are the actors. These kids feel like Team Avatar. A fun new take on a timeless classic. In these reactions, or reviews however you want to call them, we see that not everyone is on the same page regarding the series. Obviously, this is something that was bound to happen. Not everyone will have the same opinion on what they want to see and their perspective on the series. They do have some things in common, though, for example, the fact that they keep mentioning 
that the bending visuals look great, but not all the time, and that the cast did a great job. I guess that they do agree with Daniel Day Kim's words, which were, The cast looks like you pulled them straight out of the original. Moving on, Anthony says, Episode 1 dazzles with its grand scale and vibrant environments. Fans can rejoice in its faithful visual adaptation and stylistic action sequences, yet it slightly stumbles in cast performances, narrative, and philosophical depth, excited for how Season 1 ends. Mo mentioned that, he can only give thoughts on episode one of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender, but, yikes, the show is in a rush to get somewhere and feels completely isolating for new viewers, paying lip service to beats from the animated show with very little care. Another interesting review comes from POC Culture, who said, I got to see Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender. It's truly animation come to life. Between the sets, costumes and sound effects, it's a visual feast. The fight choreography and bending action are epic. I loved it. Not only that, but he also said, it's not a shot-for-shot -shot retelling of the animated series, which I liked. It brings its own twist. Some of the performances and dialogues are a little rocky at times, especially from the main cast. I hope that will improve. It's a little cheesy, as was the animated series. Dallas Liu as Zuko and Ian Usley as Sokka are the strongest of the main cast. And of course, Paul Sun Hyung Lee's as Uncle Iroh is absolutely perfect. At times, Avatar The Last Airbender is freaking epic like an Asian knock Star Wars. At others, it's a little bit like a CW superhero show. Is it better than the film? Of course. So overall, we have mixed opinions about the show. Some find it amazing. Some aren't satisfied with it. Either because of poor writing, like Raphael mentioned, or because it feels rushed, like Anthony expressed. The vast majority of them do agree on some things, like the bending visual effects that apparently look stunning, but that it's inconsistent when it comes to this, and that the cast apparently did an amazing job. The official release on Netflix isn't that far away, so in order to truly know how this series turns out, we will have to wait until February 22nd. Tell us, what's your opinion on this? Did we miss anything? Thanks for watching the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.